Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today um, is the day before we're leaving to go to Indiana again. We were just there like four or five weeks ago, I think, but we are going for my grandfather's 90th birthday party. So I'm super excited for that. I think it'll be really cool to see all of my family that I haven't seen in a while and just go somewhere. We haven't been anywhere in a while um, ever since we got back from North Carolina. So, I have to pack today. I've got a lot to do, so I want to show you, like, what I'm packing. Because we're leaving on Friday for a 14-hour drive, staying there Saturday and Sunday, and then most likely coming all the way back on Monday. And if we don't come all the way back on Monday, we might stop and visit Cornell. So it'll still be a lot of the way back, and then, um, get back on Tuesday. So I don't exactly know how far we're going, um, on the way back. But I do know that we're driving the entire way there tomorrow, so that'll be fun. But I'm going to try to keep all my stuff into just, like, my backpack. So I will show you what I bring when we're going on a trip, and it's just one backpack. But road trip style. I think I've shown this before for, like, flying. But, yeah, I gotta go get my bag, and then let's get packing. Don't mind my outfit. I'm going to go work out after this even though it's like 7, so it's pretty late for me to be working out, but I still want to get it in. I've been really busy today, so I haven't been able to, but I do want to be able to sleep well tonight um, because we're getting up at like 4, 4.30 tomorrow, so it's going to be a long day, so I want to get a good night of sleep, but working out always helps me do that, and I'm not going to be able to work out for four days unless I like go on a run or something, which I might. Um, I don't really have the best clothes pack for that, though, so I might have to think about that. But right now, I'm going to show you what I'm bringing. So I'm going to turn around my camera, and then I'll show you. So I just have everything laid out on my bed. I'm bringing these three shirts. This is a new one that I got from Marshalls. I love it so much. Um, this is from Romley. This is from American Eagle. So this will be my traveling shirt on the way back. Then I have my iPad that I'm downloading movies on. Um, there's my cords bag, um, a book. I'll probably bring another one. I just want to finish this one and give it away to my aunt when we get there. Um, I have a tank top to sleep in, um, jean shorts. I'll also pack athletic shorts. Um, then I have just socks and underwear in here. Um, then here I have this pink um, quarter zip that I will bring with me in the car and then a t-shirt and leggings to wear in the car tomorrow. I also have my film camera here. My laptop charger in the side pocket of my backpack. So in my backpack I have pens and pencils and gum in the outside pocket. Um, in here I have sunglasses and I'll put my computer mouse in here. Um, in here there's nothing yet but that's where everything's going to go. And then in the back pocket is my laptop, a folder with my school paste charts in it and then my school notebooks. So all I need to do is just pack up my clothes here, get my toiletries, and grab my computer mouse, um, and then I will be ready to go. I'm about to start a quick workout um, before we have to leave super early tomorrow, so that'll be annoying. It's like 7.30 I think, so it's not super late, but after that I need to wash my hair and then I'll go to bed. Um, but I just wanna like say, give a little hint, that we may be trying to do a little remodeling down here in our workout space, like in our home gym. So I'm very excited about that, but that will be um, upcoming in the next, like, several months, but it's brewing, thinking about it, so super excited about that, so definitely keep an eye out for that in the not-so-far future, but not super near. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm just going to do a Mad Fit dance workout. Good morning. Um, it is like 4 now. And I woke up at 3.45 and just put my stuff in my bag. I'm all ready to go. I'm just waiting for my family. Um, I'm not going to eat breakfast yet. I could not eat a thing. I'm, I don't know. I'm just... Can't eat in the middle of the night. <laughs> I have to wait until like probably 8 to eat breakfast. But, yeah, I think we're going to try to get on the road by, like, 4 or 30-ish, so I will let you guys know when, I don't know, if I see sunrise or whatever, because it's thoroughly dark out and I can still see stars. But, yeah, so, just an update. I still remember. 
remember your number Can see those digits by heart With that first drink of the summer I think about where you are I dial two, three, five, are you alive? How I miss our late night drives in four, six, how was it? That in my mind, I flip a switch and seven, two, forgetting you is something I can't seem to do, even though we were just kids. I close my eyes, I'm waiting for the lightning strike to knock me back to two. We said goodbye We're stopped at a rest area right now um, My family's going to the bathroom But I don't need to So I was just laying down here on my pillows And I was actually really comfortable It was pretty surprising That I could get in like almost two hours of sleep In the car I don't usually sleep after I like wake up for a road trip or even like if we're flying overnight I just can't sleep but today I did so that was nice probably because I couldn't sleep last night um so yeah we're in New York now I think and I don't know how far we have left because I haven't been looking at the GPS but I'm guessing it's about nine ish hours so I'm gonna eat breakfast soon and I will show you guys that um, but yeah, we'll see you in a bit. We're stopping at McDonald's and to get gas. It's noon. Yeah, it's noon. And we're in Pennsylvania. We're over halfway there, so that's great. I've been, um, what did I do? I slept and then I tried to get on my mom's hotspot, but it wasn't working because we were in like a hilly area. Then I watched one Riverdale episode. Uh, now I'm going to do some school, I think. Hopefully the hotspot will work now. We just have to go get gas. But I just had to go into um, um, McDonald's to use the bathroom. But I've sworn off of McDonald's and like fast food. Except for Shake Shack because that's special and really good. You know, I don't like McDonald's. And there's no reason to eat it when I have like healthy food in the car. So I will not eat it. I don't want it. It makes me feel bad. So yeah. Um, I'm just gonna eat some more lunch. I had half of a, um, like, hamburger that we bought, brought from home, just with cheese, um, and now I'm gonna have a little bit more. I don't know. But I will see you guys later, after I'm done with school. I still remember the house now Heart beating out of my chest And walking up to your front Hello, so it is the second day of being in Indiana, um, and the exposure is wrong. Here, let's... There we go. Um, but we are at my grandfather's 90th birthday party. Yay! Um, but we were just eating, and we are gonna have, like, this drive-by parade, because there's not that many people here, and there's so many people that wanna, um, wish him a happy birthday, so we're lining up at a farm down the road, and then there'll be, like, a flow and like fire trucks and farm equipment so it's gonna be like a whole parade thingy so that should be fun um I think we have to leave for that in like a half hour and hopefully the rain holds off um but yeah the hour 14 plus hour drive getting here was not super bad it went by pretty fast especially because I slept for almost three hours in the morning and then um just kept doing like useful stuff I was working on some school and then like I would break up school and writing with um some watching tv so I did a pretty good job I'd say managing my time and getting stuff done so tomorrow I think I'm gonna work on um writing some more and getting some more um school done also and then of course I have to start watching the nine movies that I downloaded for this trip I think that was a little bit of overkill but it'll be okay. So, um, I'll be going to the parade soon, so I guess I will see you guys there. Hello. 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 Hello.
switching, seven tools for getting you. It's something I can't seem to do, even though we were just kids. I close my eyes, I'm waiting for the lightning strike to take me back to two. We said goodbye. It actually turned out to be a really nice day. I know it was really cold and rainy this morning, but um, the party has been really fun. We've just been visiting family now, but we went to the parade this morning and it was just super cool. So you guys saw that, but yeah, now um, we were just eating cake and I think we're gonna go get ice cream later. So that'll be fun. We did that same thing last night, just me and some of my cousins. Um, so yeah, ice cream will be fun. I think we're just gonna hang out. So we just got back last night at like 6.30 p.m. and we were all so tired. We actually ended up doing the drive in a little under 13 hours. Um, the GPS always says 12 and a half, but then plus stops, it usually takes a lot longer than that. So um, yeah, I just unpacked most of my stuff and then went to bed last night really early because we were all super tired because that's such a long drive. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing, um, basically a very shortened version of what it looks like when we go to Indiana. Um, this was definitely the shortest we've been there for. Um, only being there for two days is kind of nuts because you're driving, like, 28 hours, um, total to just be there for, like, 48, so... It's a lot, but it was really great to see family and celebrate my grandfather's birthday. So, um, make sure to check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com. Check out my Etsy shop to buy custom choker necklaces. And follow me on all social media. And I just made a trailer, so make sure to follow me on there at Rosie Revolts. And I will see you guys later. Bye!